What is up guys, Brandon back again for another video. Uh, if you guys were here for the last video, then you know recently picked up this SRT4. Well, recently for you guys, not so recently for me. Um, and the motor took a crap. So we don't know 100% what is wrong with it. My guess is that it has a cracked ring land. Um, it's smoking out wide open throttle, uh, like vigorously, like bad. Uh, but it drives fine around town. I uh, did do a compression test on it. It was low on pretty much all cylinders, but cylinder four especially was like super low, like 90 PSI. So we're going to start ripping this thing apart. Uh, my plan is basically to pull the car apart, pull the motor out, uh, inspect it, try to put it back together for as cheap as possible, but also within reason. Uh, I do plan on going bigger turbo, uh, whether it's going to be a big wheel stock turbo or we decide to go up to like a 50 trim um, is kind of undecided yet. It's just going to depend on how much funds and how much money it's actually going to take for me to get this car back on the road uh, for that. So with that being said, then we'll probably do the mods needed to hold the 50 trim uh, and make, you know, 450, 500 reliably. Uh, so, you know, ARP head studs or DCR head studs um, along with probably doing LS rod bolts and um, obviously new head gasket and all that kind of stuff. But before we can even jump into that and find out if we can even reuse this long block or short block out of it, we're going to have to pull it out. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so here's our generic plan of attack. Uh, basically, I'm going to start with the things up top. Uh, I'm going to remove the intake manifold, the intake, the battery, all that kind of stuff up top. Then we're going to drain the fluids. Um, Obviously, that's you know needed to do. I'm gonna drain the tranny last because uh, I plan on pulling the axles out last, and I might be rolling stuff around, and I just don't like the idea of leaving the tranny in there and me rolling everything around. Even though I probably wouldn't really do anything because it's not like it's going very fast. It's just peace of mind to me. So remove intake, do all that kind of stuff. I am gonna end up pulling the front end off too. Um, as you guys can see, there's some damage there, so I want to get that taken care of, and I plan on painting the bay. Uh, so might as well take the the front end off. Start putting some stuff away. Get my Ziplocs out so we can label everything. Cause it's, uh, other than taking the manifold off, so it's about to be. Oh, and I replaced the turbo like three thousand times. Um, we're about to get pretty into this, so wish us luck. All right, so quick little update for you guys. Manifold's off. Majority of the harness has been pulled. I was told that you can pull the harness with the motor, but at this point, it was just easier for me to just start unplugging shit. Last thing I want to do is get the motor held up and rip. So all the blue tape, since I haven't ever pulled this motor out of this chassis before, we just labeled pretty much every damn sensor. Better safe than sorry. Take a little extra time. Um, I'd highly recommend it for when you guys do your boost solenoids, especially if you have an ECU boost, because these lines are very specific to each solenoid. So if you don't, you're going to have a bad day when you put your new motor in. So currently draining fluids, and then I'm going to pull the rest of this intercooler off. Pull the power steering and the AC lines, and then we should be pretty damn close. Oh, and then the O2 sensor back there. Other than that, go and smooth. So I did a horrible, horrible job of recording everything last night, and I apologize for that, but it was cold as shit, and we just wanted to get the motor out, so I thought I'd just give you guys a little update. Motor is currently out. Uh, so far, obviously, we haven't really dug into it too far, but there's no metal in the oil, no shimmery, nothing like that. Nothing weird out of the norm. Uh, this is why I wanted to paint the bay. Like I said before, this car has been resprayed and they resprayed the engine bay with the engine in there. So that's why there's like partial white, yada yada. So next plan of attack or next video, uh, we'll be removing the ECU, the tire wiring harness and starting to clean shit up out of this bay, as well as probably popping open the valve cover and starting to pull the motor apart. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna try to go more in depth with the 
uh, tearing the motor apart and the bay part since pulling the motor there's probably five million videos on how to pull the motor so you guys could watch that if you needed it anyways leave a comment give it a thumbs up catch you guys on the next one